National Geographic Channel presents an exclusive deeper dive into cosmos. Cosmos is not just about the cosmos out there, it's also about our world and our place on Earth. So to capture all those topics, you're gonna to end up in a lot of different places. We shot worldwide for 70 days in places like Iceland. We traveled all over Europe and North America. We really covered the globe in trying to bring you the story of the cosmos. Welcome to the Earth of four billion years ago. This was our plan. Iceland was an extraordinary location that far exceeded my imagination. Here's this dot on a map, and then we go there and it's like, whoa, this place is not of this Earth. It is a living, volcanic place. And so it provided an extraordinary backdrop for imagining what Earth might have looked like when it was young. One of the hardest locations for us to film at was um, Kew Gardens. The sun had not come out in London in a long time. I needed to see the light coming through those trees. So I kept preparing people, this is just not gonna happen. And lo and behold, the sun came out and we got about two weeks worth of work done in that one day. This is of course Anne Durian's idea to, to start and end this series where it started and ended at the specific spot along the Monterey coast where Carl Sagan stood. It was very poignant for me to stand there and watch Neil begin the new adventure of Cosmos. I can only describe it as being somewhat bittersweet. I missed Carl, I really felt his absence, but I also realized my great good fortune in being able to bring a new generation of viewers on this great journey.